Hello everyone, welcome to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to show previous month's values based on slicer selection, also with dynamic measures. We are going to make use of numeric parameter, field parameter, and DAX tricks. Do you want to know how to do this? Let's check it out. We have this column chart currently showing total sales by period. Period slicer here is interacting with this visual and showing as it is supposed to be. This is filtering the visual based on one or multi selection. In our data model, we have two tables a date table for period slicer selection and a sales table. They are connected with one to many relationship based on date columns. This is our date table. Let's create a copy of this table using which, we will generate the range of dates, which is to be evaluated based on slicer selection. Now we will connect this newly created date table to the actual date table. We will create an inactive one-to-many relationships, which later we are going to activate using use relationship DAX function inside our measure. Why we are not activating this relationship directly, because this new table will again start filtering the sales table, and we will not be able to achieve our actual requirements, which is to show previous date ranges. Now we are ready with our data model, let's create the measure. We will first create a static last six month measure, and later we will make it dynamic. We will also use newly introduced field parameter so that we can even utilize this for any selected measures. We will create two variables, one is to store the max date in the current context and one is to create the last six months date range. To create previous date range, we will use dates in period function. At this place you should be very careful, as we need to remove the already available filter on the old date table, and keep filters on this created date range, otherwise it will not be able to pass the last 6 months date range to already filtered table for that particular period. This is the final measure, which was required to be created for our requirements, we are actually done with all the hard part of it. Let's now check if it working as expected. One thing is to keep in mind that, we will use period from new date table in the x-axis of the visual. As you can see this working as expected and it is able to show past six months on our column chart. Let's make it dynamic now. For that, we will use a numeric parameter. We will replace this hard-coded 6 months to dynamic months using selected value function, which will take the value from our numeric parameter which we just created.
now we have a measure, which dynamically accepts the required previous months and it is working as expected. Let's move on to make this even more interesting. Now we will copy this same measure for profit and quantity too. And we will make use of field parameter to dynamically change the measures on the visual. Creating the field parameter now, with sales, profit and quantity measures. We will change the sales measure with field parameter, which can dynamically show the sales, profit or quantity measure on our column chart. This is it you can see our visual is now accepting dynamic previous months and dynamic measures at the same time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting solutions on Power BI.